Hi everybody, it's Jennifer LeBray, and I'm here with my first live. You, hopefully third time's a charm. I've been having some issues with this. Looks like we are upside down. So let me see if I can make that right side up. Sorry about this, I'm still learning. Try that. Yay, we got it. Okay, hopefully this works now. Okay, and this is the card we're going to make today. This is with using the Cauldron Bubble Stamp Set. And it's in our holiday catalog, and it's our product of the week this week. We're also going to be using the Cauldron Frameless dies, which are pretty cool. This is the card we're going to make, and this is the inside of it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is grab a sheet of basic black cardstock, cut it in half lengthwise. For a standard card and then we're going to just score it at five and a half so that we can fold it there we go we'll set that aside for right now next thing we're going to do is take a sheet of the gorgeous grape cardstock and we're just going to, that's going to be five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Set that aside. We're going to take a sheet of the basic black. Again, five and a quarter by four inches. Now I forgot to do this ahead of time, so we'll do it right now. I just ran this through my Settles embossing folder. So let me just grab that. And find it here. There we go. This is the Settles Subtle Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. And we're just going to run that through our big shot. die adapter for this and we only need one of the plates so we're just going to run that through this gives a really nice linen like texture hopefully you can see that on the camera it's a beautiful, subtle texture. So we're gonna set that aside for right now. Next thing we're going to do is cut out a sheet of the Dan Daffodil Delight. And I used my large stitched shapes for this. These are the one stitch shape framelits dies. I used the largest circle on this one. So I did that ahead of time, cut that out. Then we're going to do some stamping. First thing we're going to do is stamp the witch. And I'm using my D block for this. We're going to use the Memento ink. We always use Memento when we use our stamping blends, that allows it to not uh, bleed. on my Simply Chamois and then we're going to 
ink up the cauldron. ink away and we're going to color this with our stamping blends lucky for you I have already colored it so you don't have to watch me color them I will let you know what colors I've used though I love the stamping blends they're very comparable to Copics so I've got dark basic black dark smoky slate dark highland heather light mango melody dark pumpkin pie ivory which makes a good skin tone if you're looking for a Caucasian. Light soft suede and dark granny apple green. So those are the colors that I used on these two images. Okay, we'll set those aside for right now. Then I'm gonna take just a scratch sheet of the gorgeous grape and we're going to take our one and a half inch circle punch and let's stamp our sentiment first, which in this case is going to be Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. And stamped it crooked, but no big deal. Now we'll take our circle punch and line it up in there, and there we go. Okay, and let's start putting this together. We'll use our snail adhesive, and we'll go right on the back of the black, line it up on the gorgeous grape do the same thing with the gorgeous grape okay and we'll take our circle which kind of looks like a moon to me there we go and the sentiment. Okay. For the witch and the cauldron, I'm going to use dimensionals to pop them up. Gives a nice little 3D effect. Sometimes those can be hard to get off. There she goes. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of the ribbon. This is the, let's see, what's it called? The Glittered Organdy Ribbon. This is really gorgeous ribbon. Uh, as you can see, it's got glitter all throughout the black organza. So we just need a small piece of this. And we're going to tie that into just a little knot. And then we'll take our mini glue dots and get that on there and 
just put it right at the top there. I'll just trim that a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to add some rhinestones, which are my favorite, to add a little bit of bling. And we'll use our new Take Your Pick tool. If you haven't checked out this tool yet, it's a great tool. It's also found in the holiday catalog. It's got different ends for it so that you can do different things with it. And I think it's only 10 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. So check that out. Okay, the outside of our card is finished. I think that turned out really cute. Now we'll do the inside. And for that, we're going to just grab a standard uh, five and a quarter by four inch sheet of the Whisper White. We're going to grab our cat stamp. Again, a mental ink. Just stamp it down in the corner there. And then we're going to stamp our stars. I like little stars. There we go. And then we'll stamp Happy Halloween inside. There we go. I'll just color that inside a little bit. I'm going to take the dark smoky slate. And I'll use the nib end because we've got some fine details here. Try not to color in his eyes. I would have colored him all black, but then the other little details don't show. There we go. And then we'll color the stars yellow. This just gives a nice touch to have the inside of the card colored. It's a nice little extra surprise for people. And we'll use our snail on the right side. In the card. There we go. And there you have it. There's your card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Please feel free to check out my blog for all the products used. And if you have any questions, you can always feel free to contact me. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.